Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Um, thank you for all my um, all the comments on my last video. Um, <laughs> I had someone email me um, about the Elvis Presley email that I received, um, concerned <laughs> that I really thought that Elvis Presley wasn't dead. And <laughs> I know he's dead. Only recently, right? No, I know he died back in the 70s, I think 77. Um, but I, I get not everyone gets my sense of humour, but that, that email was genuine. I mean, not genuinely from Elvis Presley, but the email address had Elvis Presley in it, which was pretty cool. And I think I know which one of you sent that to me, which is very funny. Um, and yeah, um, but I, I have to remember that not everyone gets me. And I think that's the thing. I think last year on April 1st, on April Fool's Day, I put out a video when I had my Yamaha Nikon, the three wheeled bike. Um, and I put out a video, an April Fool video, that I was removing. <laughs> I was removing one of the front wheels because I was fed up with people going on at me about the fact it's got two wheels at the front. <laughs> so I decided to take one of them off and was going to ride about with just the two wheels. <laughs> I had to take that video down because so many people were commenting saying, you can't ride it with just two wheels. Why didn't you buy a tracer? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I get not everyone has the, the, the kind of sense of humour that I have, but the majority of you do, so that's great. So, guys, I was talking to Sean, the mindful motorcyclist, the other day, and I'm sure it was him, and he mentioned about why don't you buy an interceptor, uh, an old interceptor, and then turn it into a signals in interceptor, so like army colours. And I thought, oh, that sounds like a really good idea. Um, but I've since decided that I'm going to get another Classic 350 and maybe in the signals if I can find one. Um, and I was telling a friend about it this morning and I said to him uh, about, you know, you could get an Interceptor and turn it into a... And he loves that idea. He's now looking for an older Interceptor, which he's going to paint in an army type colour scheme. How cool is that? So I will show you if that happens... I will show, I've never seen an Inceptor done like that before, um, I don't think. Um, I don't even think they've ever done a green one, have they? Um, but anyway, whatever colour he decides, he was talking about the grey, as in the Signals grey from the Classic 350, that colour. He thought that might look good on the Inceptor, and I think it probably would. But that, that's a, I'm going to leave it to him to do that, because I have. I don't have the talent. But if he does do it, it'll be very exciting to see, won't it? Um, I've kind of gone off the idea of painting. <laughs> I've just tried to paint the ceiling in the conservatory and that hasn't worked. So I'm going to be absolutely rubbish on the motorbike. <laughs> so I am going to concentrate on looking for the colour that I want, which is either the Halcyon Grey uh, or the Signals. One of those three bikes would be perfect. Um, thank you for the offers. I've had a couple of people uh, email me and someone in the comments said they were selling their the Paddington Classic 350, which is the bronze and chrome one. Um, but I probably want to hang on anyway till the spring, but that's probably not the colour that I would ideally choose, although I think it looks great. I, I love all the colours in the Classic 350. If there's what may, I'm trying to, originally I didn't like the black one um, with the red stripe down the tank, but that's grown on me as well. I, I like them all. Um, but the ones I like the most are the three I've said, so that's what I'll be looking for. Um, guys, let's have a look. I haven't gone into my garage this morning, and I want to see <laughs> if the fender extender is still stuck onto my bike. And I have no doubt that it is, because my friend is very thorough, and he cleaned that bike, uh, that mudguard for a long time, so it was absolutely spotlessly clean. But... You never know, do you? It's very cold, the garage isn't heated, so maybe it's dropped off. So I will spin the camera around and we can look at it together for the first time. <laughs> Don't ever say my, my videos aren't exciting, will you? <laughs> Let me turn the video around. So, you're gonna come with me. There's a giraffe time. Um, I haven't been in the garage today. I'm sure it's gonna be still on there. Do you know what I didn't realize is Acer trees actually aren't evergreen. So all of these leaves, I spent every day sweeping up the leaves. I know they're, it's first world problems, but um, anyway, let's go into the garage. Place your bets. 
I'm certain it's going to be on that. I've also stuck, stuck a couple of bits on the wall, so they should be... Uh, we'll see look at them first let's look at the uh ones that are stuck on the wall i won't look at the fender extender so i stuck that uh that kitchen roll holder up with the same silicon adhesive and that is solid and that picture as well i was going mad with the <laughs> with the adhesive right let's turn around and have a look three two one it's still on there so guys i realize that this isn't an overnight, leaving it for overnight isn't a test to see if this worked. I need to take it out, which I'm going to do now, and do a video um, of a cemetery that is in a beautiful village called Warsham the Willows, which is 10 minutes from me. Um, and hopefully over the next week or so, I'll give you an update. <laughs> I bore myself. <laughs> uh, loving the bike though. Guys, look at this. Can you see the sparkle? on the uh, tank I mean it really is incredible I know I harp on about about this bike all the time but it really is beautiful it really really is even the mud god yeah and even the um the bikini fairing which is obviously not standard it's still got the uh the metallic fleck in there it actually I'm not moaning, by the way, but looking at that, it actually looks like a different green, doesn't it? I've, <laughs> I've only just noticed that, but it's fine. <laughs> it really does. Uh, anyway, guys, have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one. Right, so.